Good morning. Um, I wanted to come to you today to share um, a bit about God, about uh, who you are, what He um, can do for you. And there's this song. It's called She is a Warrior. It's by Alita. Uh, it's one of the songs I sing daily uh, to remind myself that um, I am a warrior. Um, I'm a warrior because I'm a daughter of the king um, and when I'm in full armor um, he protects me uh, he strengthens me uh, he does so much for me and uh, this song just resonates um, you know go listen to it she is a warrior um, I, I will share a few of the lyrics but Mainly, I wanted to share what Priscilla Schreier says in the song. So she comes on after the song and the chorus, and she starts telling us who God is. And those words speak to me uh, more than anything. Uh, and I just wanted to share those words with you. Some people, when they hear a song, she is a warrior. Uh, if I was a male, I would not probably listen to that song because... It talks about she is a warrior um, and but if you're a male so are you you are a warrior as well and you are in a battle we're in a battle for our lives and uh, I posted taking it all back by Tarn Wells um, it's a concept of the same that we're taking it all back um, that we're strong and we're courageous and we have uh, the ability to overcome uh, because uh, we have God's strength if we're a Christian and we're saved and um, if we allow the Holy Spirit to work in and through us then there's great power there uh, that lies in us um, and so yeah this song says she's a warrior warrior ain't nothing gonna slow her down she's a warrior warrior yeah Got to get up and go, no matter the road. Got to keep your head held high. Got to keep on bringing, keep on slaying. Got to keep that pretty smile. But she's uh, ready for battle, ready for battle. Going to take that enemy down. She fears no evil and holding her ground. She is a warrior, warrior. Ain't nothing going to slow her down. She is a warrior, warrior. She's taking this battle ground. She is a fighter, a crier. She ain't going to lose this round. She's a warrior, warrior. Yeah. She sees a way when it ain't paved rubies are gold she's gonna train her mind gonna keep her in line gonna keep her eyes on the road she's ready to battle ready to battle gonna take that enemy down she fears no evil holding her ground she's a warrior warrior ain't nothing gonna slow her down she's a warrior and then it goes to the chorus again but before i get to priscilla schreier's words i want to dissect that song um gonna keep her head held high going to keep on slaying, going to keep that pretty smile. Um, it's not always pretty. We're not always smiling. Uh, it's good to uh, process our emotions, but I think what it is saying here is that we got to get up, okay? And this battle that's in front of you, it's not against flesh and blood, okay? It's against the enemy. The enemy, which is the devil, um, he is out to kill steal and destroy our lives and so being a warrior means that you may get knocked down but you got to get back up okay you got to get back up and fight because you know who's trying to take your life and when you know and you place it on him and not another person um you know it's so much easier i think to fight the battle uh, at least for me, um, when I can know that it's truly a battle against the enemy and against an attack on me, it's an attack on getting my faith. It's an attack of taking me out of the ball game because if I do not reach uh, the purpose that God has put on my life, um, then the enemy has been successful in not... Um, you know spreading that word to the people that are attached to your name and so he's really very cunning and scheming and um, wants to take you down 
but it says here that she sees a way when it ain't paved. Gotta train her mind. Gotta keep her in line. Keep her eyes on the road. Okay. Uh, the Bible is the roadmap uh, for life. Uh, the words in it. Uh, if you study, you show yourself approved. You're training your mind. You're gaining wisdom. And you got to keep on that road. Okay. You got to keep on that path. Do not deviate from that path. Okay. God warns us that when we deviate from that path. And God only knows how many times I have deviated. So if you have deviated off that road, then, you know, it's kind of like our road, our, our life. When we take a journey, it's like this. And it's like this, and it's like this, and then it's crash and burn and wreck and, and, and all that. But God can put you back on that right path and keep you on that narrow road. And, and if you just stay on it and you heed warning and you listen to his word and, and you don't just listen, guys, you got to do it. it it's, it's listen, hear, obey, obedience, action. That is what is necessary and needed to grow as a Christian, uh, to experience the abundant life, to experience peace and joy uh, in your heart, regardless of what's going on around you. I mean, there's so many things that uh, in my life um, that if I, I keep my eyes, if I take my eyes off the road, uh, then I can get distracted and I can get derailed and I can go on a detour that is endless because the enemy wants to distract you and that's what he's trying to do when he brings things into your life to shake you up to uh to cause you harm to hurt you to um you know challenge you um that is his uh plan so that's his scheme he wants to get you derailed so uh what so now Priscilla Schreier jumps into the song and she's saying, when you're lost, he's your way. When you're afraid, he's your courage. When you stumble, he will steady you. When you're hurt, he's going to heal you. When you're broken, he will mend you. When you're blind, he will lead you. When you're hungry, he will feed you. When you face trials, he is with you. When I face persecution, he shields me. When I face problems, he will comfort me. When I face loss, he will provide for me. And when we face death, he will carry us all the way through. He is everything for everybody, everywhere, every time, and in every way. He is your Lord. And that, sister, is who you belong to. And then it goes back to the chorus. Uh, she is a warrior. She is a warrior. Ain't nothing going to slow her down. Um, and, and, you know, when she speaks those words of power, when you're lost, he's your way. When you're afraid, he's your courage. Guys, he is. This is truth. God is is everything. He, he, he provides. He is your comforter. He is your strength. He does carry you. Uh, he will help you find your way. You have to believe these words. Okay? And I'm fervent in saying that is like you've got to have faith in knowing and feeling that this is truth. These aren't just words. This is who he is. This is what he does. I have experienced this goodness. I have experienced him. I I will never forget the encounter. Um, I had gotten news of something that broke me. Um, and I remember getting on my knees. <laughs> Actually, I was once in fetal position. And then I lay straight out, stretched on the ground as if I was dying and someone had ran me over. But I cried out to God. And I cried out the, the biggest shriek and shrill that I had ever done. I think that I had just stuffed all of those emotions and it just came out with a wailing uh, shrill. And I felt that moment. I felt this warmth. I felt this comfort. And I know, I know beyond a shadow of a doubt. Because that day changed my life. Okay. 
um, I felt the presence of God and I was touched and I felt his love and I felt his comfort and I knew he was there. He was there when nobody else was. Okay. And um, that brings tears to my eyes because it's a really, really um, hard, tough time. Um, but I wouldn't have changed it for anything. Um, everything that you go through and every bad that happens to you, when you align your will with God's and when you surrender and when you decide <laughs> they ain't nothing going to stop me from serving God. I live a surrendered life. When you have that heart posture, your life will change. There, there, there's nothing else I need to say. Um, your life is going to be radically different. And I have been a Christian most of my life. Uh, I was saved when I was 12. But I can honestly tell you that I wasn't bold. Um, there were moments or, or seasons in my life that I really felt on fire for the Lord. Um, and it's when I was walking, I feel in his will um you know i made choices but i got back on the road got back on the track um and 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 i felt free and i felt like you know i was serving and i was surrendered and then here comes a trip up the enemy knows our heart he knows our needs he knows our weaknesses and i got tripped up um and i lived uh, for a very long time, defeated. Um, I, I, I didn't experience God's amazing grace. Um, and I'm here to tell you though, um, God doesn't let go. If you're truly his child, he's going to discipline. He's going to chase. That's when he talks about going after the one who will leave the 99 to come after you. And um, I'm so thankful that, that he rescued me and delivered me and I'm back in fellowship and, and not just fellowship, relationship, a relationship that I could have only dreamed about. Actually, it's kind of like a dream. Uh, it's surreal. It's, it, I mean, like, I don't talk to a lot of people about it because it, they might really think you're crazy. Um, but I do think that the courage and power and strength that, that comes from the Holy Spirit, um, you, you proclaim and you shout and you unapologetically do that. Uh, I, I don't care what people think or say or, or anything. Like, I'm walking in relationship with the Lord. I listen to Him. I seek godly wisdom. You know, I have counsel that is um, a, that is mature and and have great walks with the Lord, and so I do have those conversations to keep myself accountable. Um, but you know, I hear from the Lord just like you know, I I, I don't need man especially men or women who aren't walking with the Lord uh, in that relationship of fellowship to, to like speak into my life because why are you listening to somebody who doesn't have that walk, who the fruit, it's not evident there in their lives. So what counsel can they possibly give you? And so, you know, be careful um, who you listen to uh, who steers and guides you and, and seek truth. And that can only be found in God's word. Um, you know, I can sit here and talk to you all day long, but the scriptures, they are truth. Okay. They are real. They come alive. They are life applicable. They do give you wisdom, um, studying the book of Proverbs and, and it's so, you know, Solomon asked for, when God asked him, what can I give you? He asked for one thing, wisdom, um, to have all wisdom. And, you know, when you have wisdom, it is more precious than, than silver or gold. It helps you to make choices and decisions that will 
cause your life to live that of abundance or that of deficit. Um, so it's life and death uh, as to the actions and, and what you do in your life. So the steps and the choices you make can either elevate you or it, it puts you on a path of, of growth and, and seeking righteousness. Or it can literally derail your life and, and put you on a path of destruction. So I don't know where you are in your walk. I don't even know if you have one. I don't know who listens to these videos. But, you know, I, I do speak of of my uh, truth. Uh, not my truth, but what's happened to me. Uh, my story, my life. Um, what God is doing in and through you know, my walk, um, and you know, these videos, I, I will go walking and, and listen to praise worship. And then it's like, Hey, you know, like, I don't hear this audible voice. So if you're hearing an audible voice, wow. Uh, you know, I, I've never heard that. And, uh, God speaks to us through, uh, visions and dreams, his word and our thoughts and not all thoughts are from him. So you need to really discern, what you're hearing but you know today was like let let them know uh let them know what he is all about um who who you belong to and how um how he loves you i think that's the biggest thing is god loves you okay and I've had this big thing, uh, word that just keeps going on and on in my head. And I keep putting it out there on my Facebook page, on my private page, is repentance. Repentance is a gift. Um, you know, it's another chance that we get to, we get to, there's the key word, get to. Okay. Not have to. We have to have a posture that, that we are full of gratitude and thankfulness. We get to repent and ask for forgiveness the flip side of that is that we don't experience grace and we don't experience mercy and we don't experience another opportunity and chance which is what the blood was all about jesus dying um, on the cross and, and shedding his blood was a sacrifice for us to be able to walk in fellowship and relationship with with god and it's that restoration that he brings us to that lost fellowship where sin separates and sin is death and sin destroys. But the blood covered that. Um, and I want you to know that you are never too far gone. In a blink of an eye, you can be walking right with Jesus and with God um, and in fellowship. Um, with our Lord and Savior, uh, ask for forgiveness, uh, examine your heart. And, you know, we can't possibly confess all of our sins. Like, there's so many that we do daily. Um, but, you know, the ones that you, you know, speak it, uh, speak it, like, in detail. Like, God, I am so sorry that I spoke these words or I did this to this person Please forgive me of that. Help me to whatever. I don't know. But your conversations to God needs to be that of how I'm speaking to you. That's how it is. And, and you know, all day long in my day, if I see something, I'll say, thank you, Lord, for that. Thank you so much. Oh, oh goodness. Um, forgive me for thanking that. So throughout the day, I'm just meditating and talking to him. And I think... Uh, when you get to that point, you are going to experience more of his goodness. You're going to see God's sightings. You're going to uh, be blessed more. Your heart's going to be full or you're going to um, notice uh, things that you might not have ever noticed before. And I'm at a place in my life where, you know, I'm 56. I reflected upon my life. Uh, you know, the enemy got me in lots of places. And, um, but as I sit and I reflect, um, I'm so thankful for rest. I'm so thankful for just simple pleasures in life. Uh, 
walking and breathing fresh air and having my legs that will move me without pain and my health and and just, you know, it was a time I couldn't breathe very well. And I'm just thankful that I can even breathe without wearing a mask. And I'm thankful that COVID's over. And guys, there's just so many, so many simple joys and pleasures that if you live a life of gratitude, uh, your mindset is going to change. Your life is going to change. And so I encourage you today to reflect um, on where you are in life. Um, what you need to do, um, you know, do you need to repent? Um, you know, where's your heart? Where's your relationship with him? Do you need to, to get back on the road? Do you need to, um, recommit, you know, like, or do you need to just give your heart to him? Um, I don't know. I just know, take the time today in the stillness and the quietness and just, speak to him and then sit back and listen okay relationship is two ways it's not just us talking all the time we have to be still and listen god has much to say uh we just really don't always give him the time or opportunity to to share that with us because we're in a rush and you know we gotta check that check mark off oh we did this we did this no it's not about that okay god is not a check mark Okay, he has to be a way of life, um, not a check in a box saying, I did that today, I did that today. Um, it's not about works, it's, it's really about a relationship. And so, you know, the works come with it out of a heart pas posture of just wanting to, um, wanting to serve. Okay, so... Hope you had a good rest yesterday. It was Labor Day. And um, hope you have a great day today. And thank you for watching this channel. I hope something that the Lord laid upon my heart to share, that it will speak to you. If you um, like it, uh, then please share it. And um, that's what this channel is all about. All right. Thanks. Bye.